In this video, we're going to take a look more at Adobe Color Themes or the Adobe Color Wheel. This is an extra extension or app that you can use inside of Adobe to help you pick colors. And also it has a web based version that we'll take a look at. So if you go to the top and you click on window and you go to extensions, you will see that we have the Adobe Color Themes extension. Now, if I click on that, it opens up the Adobe Color Themes panel here. You can see that we can create colors, explore colors, and my themes. So create is going to allow you to create any specific color themes that you want with these swatches. If we click on explore, we have all the different uh, color themes that other people have created. So you can come in here and quickly pick out some great looking color themes. And then you have ways to search for them. Uh, you can uh, organize them by most popular, most published uh, appreciations, most used and so forth. And then you have My Themes. My Themes is a way for you to save out your themes, either from the Photoshop program itself or through Creative Cloud and their web-based application. So this gives you the ability to create color themes and use them across your projects. This can even be used across other programs like, say, Adobe Illustrator, where you're working back and forth between Illustrator and Photoshop. So if we go to Create, you have the ability to change out any of this information and then we have some options here. So first we have a wheel, so it shows it in the form of a wheel. If we click on sliders, you can see we have color sliders that we can manipulate. But we'll leave it on color wheel for now. We have the different colors that we can actually select here. So when I click on those, you see them highlight on the color wheel. Then we have some buttons before, so click to set active color set selected color from active color, add to swatches, and a color rule. So if we hit click on click to set active color, it's going to set that to our foreground color. And I selected the magenta, so that is our foreground color, and then we can begin painting with that. Now, the reason why this is great is because it's using a little bit of color theory to help create these uh, color swatches, and we'll take a, a little more look at that. But I can go ahead and color or use this color in my project, and then if I select this one, uh, you, we can add that in. And the thing that you'll start to notice is that these colors work together because it's actually using a little bit of color theory. So this is a great reason for this program is we can use these in our project and we know that it's going to look good. Same thing if we go to explore, we see all those different color uh, swatches that have been made. They're popular because they use color theory principles behind them. So that is click to set active color. The next one is set selected color from active color. So if we select uh, our black and white swatches and then we hit this button, it's going to change that to black. So that may or may not be something that you want to do there. So let's go ahead and open this back up here. And we'll need to move that value okay so we're back to where we almost were now we can also save these out to color swatches so if I hit the add to swatches button it brings those colors in for us so we can make our selections figure out the colors we want even in the explore tab and then we can add those to our swatches and then that gives us the ability to save those out as swatches or share them or use them in our projects and then finally, the last option is color rule. If I click on that, it's going to show us different design theory principles. So we have analogous, we have monochromatic, which means the colors are going to be more in line. We have triads, which means the colors are picked from three different parts of the color wheel. We have complementary colors. We have compound colors. We can do just shades and then we can have uh, custom menus that we want. We can also save out the color themes. So if we move these around and say we, we get a color that we want, that we really like, we can save that color theme by giving it a name and hitting the save button. So this gives us a great way to check out all kinds of different colors that we can use inside of Photoshop using this color wheel or exploring swatches. Let me show you the web-based version, which is just the same thing, but it allows you to do this on the internet without Photoshop also. 
So if you go to uh, Adobe's website or you search for Adobe Color CC, it'll bring up the web-based version here. I can sign in and then when I sign in, it will allow me to actually sync these colors and swatches to Photoshop itself. Uh, so this allows me to pick colors on the go or on the internet and then allow me to use those in my projects. Now you can see at the top, we also have the Create, Explore, and My Themes. It's very similar to the extension, but this is a bigger version of looking at it. Then we have the ability to import an image. And what this does is it'll allow us to import an image and select colors from that image. So let's take a look at that here. Okay, when it comes up, I can just go ahead and select my image, this water file. We'll hit open. And what it does is it allows us to sample colors from an image and it puts it into our swatches for us. So this is a great way where if you see some really cool colors in a photo or design or anything that you would like to copy, you can come in and do that. You can also move these markers around and pick different colors or parts of this image. So if you're not getting the exact colors you need, you can manipulate these yourself and then save these out into Photoshop and use them in your design work. We'll go back to the color wheel. You can see that we can change the uh, different types of uh, color theories that we have here. We can select and manipulate any of these around that we want to. So we have it on complementary, so they're actually going to stay in line. But we can uh, manipulate any of these handles, and it will give us the ability to change these out. So let's go to analogous, or if we do custom, we have free range to move these wherever we want. If we scroll down, you'll see some of that color information being moved around. We have the RGB values, the HTML or hex values that we can use here if we want to. We can select any of the colors and then we can manipulate sliders around if that's something that we'd like to do. And you can see the RGB and hex values changing. If we click on the arrow, you can see that we can change uh, not just the RGB, but the CMYK, the lab, and the hue, saturation, and brightness values if you would like to select the color that way. Some people, this is easier to work with, so you can do that. And then once you have those, you can save your color theme and then bring that directly into Photoshop. So as you can see, the Adobe Color Themes or the Adobe Color Wheel is a very powerful way for you to select colors in your projects or even pull colors in from photographs that you would like to use in your work.